friends, so we're here at Islands of Adventure to check out the new everything now that they're reopened. Now you might be saying, Bridget, how are you in a theme park without wearing a, you know, with no mask on? Easy, we are in one of the U-Rest locations. So right down here when you come into the park, if you head straight down to the waterfront, you can actually take your mask off and hang out. It's called a U-Rest area, and it's a chance for you to take a break from wearing your mask. Um, also, if you're drinking anything or eating anything in the park, like actually eating it, not just like carrying around a water bottle, uh, you can have your mask removed while you're doing that. They just ask that you put it back up like in between. Um, but today we are here to check out the different virtual queues my, and see what we can do. We actually were able to get two virtual queue times for Hagrid. So let's say you have four people in your party and four people have a phone and they all have the universal app, everyone can make a virtual line time for the entire party. So I'm with one other person and we both made a virtual line time for Hagrid. So we're gonna be able to ride the ride twice. Um, I think our first one's at 9.35 and the next one's at like 10.30. Um, also, sorry that's all services um, like representative and they said keep checking the app throughout the day because if they find that Hagrid's is running smoother than the rest of the like they expected they'll add more times into the queue so they'll add additional wait times in if they find that Hagrid's is running smoother than originally predicted so they kind of have it where they can add times in depending on how the t ride is running which is really good um, one big tip that the guest services representative um, told me was to take a screenshot of it that way if something happens you can prove that you were in the virtual line um, and I do that anyways even with fast passes at Disney because I've had them disappear on me before down by the water there's some pretty interesting construction going on by Jurassic Park so let's take a look at it so I don't know if you can see that but that is roller coaster track now Universal hasn't announced anything so I have no idea what this is, what it's gonna be called, when it's gonna open, but they've been working on it. Obviously you can tell for a while now, the crane's actually moving. So you can see they're actually working on it right now as we speak. If you look a little bit further over, you can see some construction. I'm assuming that's gonna be the queue and the load platform and things like that. This is, and this is big. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it goes all the way across the water, and right there, you're actually upside down over the water, which is pretty intense. It looks, that part actually kind of looks like Tigris at Bush Gardens, but. But yeah, I have no idea what they're building here. Nothing's been announced, so I have no idea. We're gonna find this one out together whenever it is announced, but pretty exciting to see another roller coaster being built here at Islands of Adventure. So this is how they're doing the o the Story Till Here show. Instead of doing it on the ground, they have this little stage belt and they come up here. Also, some characters will just come up here and wave and interact with guests. But for the show, you can see they actually have these social distancing markers on the ground. So you've got one here. Got one over here. And they will direct you to a specific spot during the show. So they have a specific area marked off for the virtual line. And you can only get in the line once your queue time has arrived. You actually have to show it to them before you get in this. So we are getting ready to go put our stuff in a locker. And yeah, it'll be great. So we just rode Hagrid twice. Um, the virtual line actually worked really well. It is almost 11.30 right now and they still have virtual line times available, which is pretty neat. Um, and it only took about maybe 30 to 35 minutes each of the time through, which is pretty consistent for Hagrid's if I'm being honest. Um, but I think we're gonna go over and do Spider-Man. Um, and yeah, so yeah, the biggest thing with Hagrid's is making sure you're constantly looking. There's even been times where times popped up and you selected them, but it would say like not found. So I don't know 
what would happen with that. I should have asked because we did screenshot it. Um, and I, I don't know if they would have allowed us to go at that time because we did like it. It did show that that time was available. So I don't know. See, this is how the characters are. <laughs> Have a good day! <laughs> but that's how the characters are. They're up on stage just so you can take like selfies with them. But not be like, still be social distanced. Which is pretty awesome in my opinion. Um, honestly today is not too hot out. It's warm, don't get me wrong. It's more humid than hot though. For June 9th. And also, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of Hagrid's, which is crazy. I cannot believe that ride's been open for a year already. Definitely keep checking the app because like not even 10 minutes ago I checked and there were two times available and right now there's no times available. Another thing I heard like kind of rumors about is that you had to be on the universal Wi-Fi. I didn't find that necessary. Both of us, one of us went on the Wi-Fi, one of us didn't go on the Wi-Fi, and we both were able to get virtual line times at the, around the same time. So for Hagrid's, get here a bit early. Once you're in City Walk, you can make a virtual line reservation. Typically, Hagrid's opens around 8.50 to 9 o'clock, and um, if you have multiple people in your party and you want to ride the mo ride multiple times, have everybody get the app and everybody get a virtual line time for um, like staggered a little bit. So like 9 to 9.30, 9.30 to 10, 10.30 to 11. You see what I mean. But I think we're going to go ride some Spider-Man. See if we can, uh, oh I forgot it. You know what the spider signal means? Breaking news! National headlines! I always get that, it's like national something, but I can never remember if it's coverage or headlines. Breaking news, national coverage. And see how many times we can find Stan Lee in the Spider-Man ride. Because he's in there numerous times, as well as his voice can be heard in it. So yeah, it honestly doesn't seem too busy of a day so far. I think the longest wait I've seen is like 20 minutes. But so far, I think it's going pretty well today. I've only seen a handful of people not wearing their masks properly. And one of them was a kid. Another thing is just because the lines look long, doesn't mean they are long. Because the lines have to be socially distant. I'm standing on here and see. The lines have to be, the lines will automatically be longer, but they won't take longer if that makes sense. So this, this the Spider-Man ride said it was 15 minutes, but the queue was in like the extended queue area, but we haven't stopped moving since we got into line. I don't even know if you can hear me. So yeah, just because it looks long doesn't mean it is long. So um. We were off the Spider-Man ride in 15 minutes. The wait wasn't 15 minutes. We were on and off the ride in 15 minutes. Which is pretty cool. Um, another thing is that, um, I didn't know this, but at the end of the ride, you hear someone say, I need to figure out how to get Mr. Jameson down. That's actually Stan Lee talking, which is super cool. Well, I guess you could say it's spider cool, but. Either way, it's awesome. So we're at City Walk right now. We're actually right next to Hard Rock. And down here, by the waterfront, it's another U-Rest area where you don't need to be wearing your mask, which is awesome. We're actually headed over to Universal Studios Florida, which just celebrated its 30th birthday on June 7th. So we are at Finnegan's right now. Actually, I'm gonna take this off. 
We are at Finnegan's right now. This is my first time eating here actually. I've always like heard about it and heard amazing things, especially people love coming here because there's a full bar. But I've never been here, so we figured we would check this out. It's inside, it's nice. You sit down, they'll serve you. And honestly, the park is not busy enough for me to like warrant like wanting to run run from like ride to ride. We're out front of the mummy, which had been doing virtual queue on and off, and there's a 15 minute wait. If you know the mummy ride, you know 15 minutes is walking through the queue. So to start off, you get Irish soda bread delivered to your table with butter and what I believe is apple butter. And then we ordered the Finnegan's potato and onion web. And we've already digged into this, dug into this, digged into this? We've already dug into this. And look how much there's still left. I don't know if I'm gonna have this and my meal also. Like, I don't, I don't, the camera is not doing justice the size of this actual, that doesn't do justice, your hand is giant. Here, ketchup for scale. Like, it is deep too. It's probably like two and a half, three inches deep. It's so good though. So I have the country corn, corned beef and cabbage and he has the beef tenderloin. This is what my corned beef and cabbage looks like. It honestly looks, it honestly looks really good. And then this is what the beef tenderloin looks like, which it also looks excellent. Or those mashed potatoes, that looks so good. Uh, there's Brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes, potatoes. You can't go wrong. So we're gonna dig in. So we just finished eating at Finnegan's, and honestly, the food was just okay. The potato wub was really good. The soda bread was really good. I think I just picked the wrong item, honestly. Um, I had the corned beef and cabbage, and the corned beef was kind of tough, and the cabbage was kind of flavorless. So I think I just picked the wrong item. I would definitely give it another shot. Um, I don't think it's bad. I think it's a great place to just sit down and have a nice relaxing lunch or dinner in the park without like having to leave and go to City Walk or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think we're now gonna go see if we can see some mummies. I think this museum might have some mummies we might be able to go see. So I think we're gonna go do that. So we just got off the mummy. We rode it twice because it's the mummy. And it's probably my favorite ride at Universal Studios. Um, I learned some pretty cool things. Like, the less people you have in the car, the faster it goes. It is based off of weight. And actually, at one point during the ride, they actually weigh the car to see how much pressure it needs to launch it, which is really cool. Um, I was talking to one of the team members at the end of the attraction, and she was saying that um, there are two really fast cars. All the other ones are pretty fast. And then there's one that's much slower. But if you're in the back row of a car with no person in it, nobody else in it, it will fly. So like the first ride we had, we had two people in the front and then we were in the back. And that thing like flew. But like we were doing like 60 miles an hour through that thing. I was floating half of the ride. And then the second ride, we had four people at the front and then we were in the back, two in the back as well. Um, and it still flew. Slightly less fast, but it was still very fast. So that's pretty neat, I didn't know that. And I think we're headed to Diagon now. And we'll see. I think we're gonna try to do Green Dot. Maybe get some ice cream or some butterbeer there. Because why not? Um, but yeah, we'll check in then. So far today's been really great. There's not been a lot of people here. People have been really good about social distancing and wearing their masks. And it's honestly a really beautiful day outside. The clouds have been going um, in and out of cover, which has been very helpful. Um, but yeah, it's been great. So I just had some ice cream from Florian Fortescue's. Normally I go for their butterbeer soft serve, but today I went for the hard scoop clotted cream and the salted caramel blondie, which was really good. It actually had pieces of the blondie in it. I still think my favorite, oh, I still think the favorite is 
the butter beer so far. Um, but it's, it's really good. Um, Gringotts. So Gringotts is amazing as usual. I asked them because online it says 15 minute wait or a virtual line. And I'm like, so what's going on with the virtual line? And they told me at the front of Gringotts, they said, for there to be a virtual line set up, it has to have longer than a 30 minute wait to be like activated kind of. Um, and honestly, we waited, from the time we got in line to the time we got off the ride, it was 12 minutes. So I would agree with that. I don't think, they basically consider for Gringotts, if it's a 15 minute wait, it's a walk on. So, well, fun fact with that. Um, I'm sure that's what was going on with the mummy now that I've talked to them about it because that makes a lot of sense. And the mummy has a very long queue to begin with, so 15 minutes typically gets you just to the point of getting on the ride. Um, it's been a really good day, though. There's a lot of people back here in Diagon Alley, but honestly, like, people are really good about social distancing. Everyone's wearing their mask that isn't eating or drinking already. I, I mean, it's busy, but it's not busier than normal. Um, I will say the fire, the dragon is not breathing fire at the moment. And my assumption is that it's because it causes a large crowd of people to wait around. So, so uh, friends, yeah, just when you come to the park, just remember it's still summer. You can still get sunburned. actually got sunburn at work yesterday too you can't tell anymore but friendly reminder wear sunscreen I even put some on my bag to put on and then it felt like it wasn't sunny out you could still get sunburned in the shade I'm mostly yelling at myself right now honestly right now I would totally recommend coming to Universal if you're not like immunocompromised and you're not terrified they're doing a really good job so if you're looking for the horror makeup show, it is now coming out of the exit where it used to be instead of the like across from mouth. It's actually near the Born Stuntacular gift shop. So if you're looking for the entrance, it is right over there. So that wraps up our day here at Universal Orlando Resort. I think it went pretty well. Uh, leave any questions or comments you have down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and show them some love to me on my social media and i'll see you guys next time and this is bridget's buzz